Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kirsten. In today's video, we're asking a question that was posed by Capital Exteriors and it was what's on a lot of people's minds right now. So I wanted to address this in a video. Is China still the go-to place to manufacture products? And I think that it's not a strict yes or no answer. So I want to talk about some pros and cons and things to consider in 2021 after the Rona and everything that's going on politically in the world, whether you should still look to manufacture in China or domestically. So first off, if you have not heard this month, we are doing a giveaway to grow our YouTube family. So in the giveaway contest, what we're giving away on January 25th is our brand new training on how to market test your product in 30 days or less. With it, you get the funnel, you get the training, and you get the ad copy, the scripts, and everything that we do in-house with our one-on-one -on -one clients to quickly test products to see whether or not there's intent to purchase, if people are going to buy your product, and even most importantly, if your product passes the market validation test, um, what it, it's a system like that's meant to increase your conversion rate from email list to customer about 10x. So there's a link to a video with more information on the giveaway below in the comments, but be sure to do it. It's super easy to enter. All you do is make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and comment below on this video or any of our recent videos with your product name and hashtag giveaway. And then uh, on January 26th, we announce one of three winners for this brand new product validation system. So back to the original question, is China still the place to manufacture? Well, as I mentioned, there's not a straight yes or no answer. Um, I work with beginners where you are sourcing your first product. And I also work with the exist existing brands that still to this day manufacture in China. So despite everything that's going on right now, do I still think China is a great place to manufacture? Absolutely. But with the political climate and things with tariffs and everything happening right now with, with travel restrictions, etc., cetera, um, it just means that should you want to manufacture in China, there are some things you need to consider. So if this is your very first product, I first off recommend that you look to um, get quotes from China as well as domestically, because I think it's important for you to start to get experience uh, to see what the differences are culturally, price-wise, and service wise um, between someone you could lo work with locally in the US or in your hometown or across seas with China. So first things first, what are some things to consider when dealing with China? Um, well, the big draw for manufacturing in China comes down to the, the pretense that it's typically cheaper to manufacture. And in the past, that has absolutely been true, but it's not always the case. Um, things to consider, especially if you are importing to a 3PL in the US, is you want to get quotes from China, but also take a look at what's called the landed cost. The landed cost is going to be your cost once the goods have been not only manufactured, but shipped over from China, either air freight or by sea. You also want to look at any tariffs or duties that have been slapped on. Okay. Um, when you look at the final bill, that's something to consider because manufacturing in China isn't as cheap as it used to be because there are additional taxes and shipping that you do need to take into consideration with your landed cost. It may actually turn out that depending on the kind of product you're manufacturing, it may actually be about the same price or a little bit cheaper to manufacture domestically. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. Another thing we have, I got my nice list here. Um, another thing that we find is that I have um, known China to be, Chinese manufacturers to be really hungry for the for business. So you will, again, this is not like cut and dry, but typically China manufacturers are, they offer really great customer service. Their response times are generally great and they're hungry for business and they want to make sure that they win over your business, okay? Um, the Chinese are very family oriented and because of that, they're very customer service oriented. So the experience of dealing with Chinese manufacturers may be a lot more pleasant than if you work domestically. Again, this is not all the time. Everyone is different, but that's typically the consensus that I've heard when dealing with sellers um, that work with manufacturers overseas with that. Um, 
Another thing is because China is set up to manufacture, you may find that your factory is set up to give you higher outputs a lot faster, okay? So if you are looking to work at volume, um, again, that's something to consider. Um, what are some of the cons? So the cons are really the reason I'm creating this video because with tariffs that were implemented in the last couple of years in the US through Trump, with um, restrictions on travel bans and just what's going on in China right now, there are some things that can cause China not to look like a good place for manufacturing. And one thing I will say is that um, when you're setting up shop to manufacture, this is not a like a, a something that's gonna affect your business for a year, right? When you set up manufacturing, the pretense is that you're going into it to find a manufacturing partner that can help you with all of your future product needs. So this is something ideally that you're shopping for a long-term partnership. And it's important to know that when you're dealing with international, um, there are things that will come up every year economically and politically that will affect things such as manufacturing prices, um, communication, your ability to travel to countries. So by by um, working internationally, you are bringing in a, um, a little bit of unpredictability and uncertainty in that, um, but it may or may not affect you, but just know to be ready for something like that, okay? Um, a couple of cons we have with dealing with China, uh, obvious language barrier, but this is something that should not be strictly with China. As uh, people are shopping outside of China, I find that other surrounding countries have been really great and are really stepping up in the international manufacturing space, but such as Taiwan, Vietnam, etc., depending on what you're manufacturing. And anytime you deal with a manufacturer that's not domestic and doesn't speak your language, there will be um, language barriers. So when it comes to dealing with China, you will want to be definitely over communicate and be very literal in your communication so that nothing gets missed. Okay. With that. So that's number one is understand the language barrier and be as literal, communicate with photos, webcam, video, anything that can really portray literally what it is you're looking for, okay? Um, second, there is a stigma around goods in China. And this is, I would think, the one of the largest points in this video is that consumers now, uh, if you manufacture in China and your customers find out you've nothing to hide. It's not, you should not be ashamed about manufacturing in China, but do expect the odd negative comment of, oh, you manufacture overseas. Like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but some of your consumer, some of your customers may have a problem with that. And I think that that's just, it's par for the course. Um, you should not stake it a whole business decision of who you manufacture because you are scared of upsetting a couple of people on your list or who your customers, right? Like there definitely is something to be said about um, locally made and sure, there are consumers that would rather pay more for locally made goods, but consumers, generally speaking, vote with their wallets. And if they like something that has good reviews, is good quality, and you've done your due diligence to create a product that is good quality, you've done your QA on ground, you make sure that the product does exactly what it says it will do, and it's something that consumers love, um, where it's made should not be a factor to consider. So that brings me to my last point, which is um, just this is a word of caution, uh, really not just with China, but any manufacturer is there's a reason you want to get a prototype or samples made in advance. And there's a reason you even when you do your initial run and future inventory runs, you want to make sure that you have QA or really quality control happening on the ground so that you have someone be it in China. You don't need to be the one to go to China to check every 10th item on the belt before it goes out to customers, but you want to have like a local rep or some way to check the quality of goods before they go out to a cut to your customers um, at the end of the day, because um, you just don't want to get caught off guard with the shipment of thousands of units that have gone out to your customers and nobody's checked like that. That could be literally business ending. So 
um, just a few things to consider with that. Overall, my opinion is I think that China is still a amazing place to manufacture goods, but of course, with things happening in the world, um, there are other options that have cropped up that are also super viable. So if, um, if sourcing uh, local manufacturers really important to you please because it's part of your business model absolutely go for that if you're not quite sure then I do suggest you shop around and see what the experience is like and ultimately go with the relationship and the best prices for your margins as well as uh, just work what works best for you um, and hey if you have any other opinions or any other points to like the China debate right now that we're we're having in this video, like drop it below. I'd love to hear a bit of what you think about this topic and if you are in fact manufacturing in China or if you found like a good local solution. Um, because like where you manufacture, who you manufacture with entirely comes down to your kind of product. Because if you are um, manufacturing hardware versus textiles, it's totally different. Um, and so those are just a few points that I'd like to leave you with. Um, and shout out to Capital Exteriors for this question. I really, really liked it. Guys, if you do have any questions that are in your head, drop that below as well. I'd love to hear from you and you may find yourself in a future video. Apart from that, talk to you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you are one of our lucky subscribers by January 25th and you comment below hashtag giveaway with your product name, you may find yourself with a free funnel and full market test where you can validate your any product within 30 days or less. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'm Kirsten and we'll see you next time.